Welcome back to the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown. As we move along, we're talking baseball. It's the only sport right now that does not have a plan. And this is disappointing if you are a baseball fan to sit here uh, and, Rich, look at a, a league that had every opportunity to be the first to play, to have every opportunity to go out and try to recoup some of its fan base. That fan base is very upset with the greed that has overshadowed the safety. And yet here they are, still no plan really, and it may come down to being a mandated short season by the commissioner. I guess the only thing we can say is greed still exists and these two sides really hate each other. Yeah, two weeks really changes people's opinions. If you would go back to two shows ago, I said it was gonna be 75, 80% that they were gonna play. I didn't see how they couldn't play. One week goes by, Two weeks goes by. Every day, I think there's a less likely chance that they play. And I, I, I'm more in the ballpark of a 30% chance now. I, I want to see wow. 50 games. I'll do 50 games. I think 50 games are good. It might give the Pirates a better chance, even though I don't think they have a chance. Um, I want to see baseball back. But this is really turning me off to the game, a game that I love. This was my favorite sport. And now it's just you see the greed on both sides. The players are blaming the owners. The owners are blaming the players. The cooler heads need to prevail. They need to get something done. Like I said, like I keep saying, yeah. for the love of the game. Richie, you could throw out the thermometer. I don't think you got bucko fever anymore. No, I can no. tell. You, you don't look flush. <laughs> you, you look like you're over that, uh, that bug. Uh, look, if I'm Rob Manfred, who, by the way, in a very short amount of time, and it's sad because my, my father actually went to high school with Rob Manfred, so it pains me to say this, guys. I think, he's, I think he's proving to be the worst commissioner in baseball history. Between the Astro scandal that he totally botched and now this, if I were him, I'd mandate the 48-game season right now. He's got the power to do it. That's what the owners want to pay for. Make the players play prorated 48 games, and let's do this. Let's not drag our feet. He's got the power to do it unilaterally. Push it through, ram it through, and let's go. Well, if that's the case, then they have to play, unless, of course, they don't want to play. And there are people out there who have pre-existing conditions and may not want to Well, that's an take... illegal strike, though, Bob. If the, all the players stay home, that's an illegal strike. I'm not saying they all the players. They can't do that. I not all of some them. of them. I bet you any money people would cross. There's going to be players that are going to want to play. Get a chance, younger players. I want to see teams out there. If Mike Trout doesn't want to play, if uh, Blake Snell doesn't want to play, okay, I want to see the teams out there. All right, so we have this impasse, Pony. If you had to pick a side, and we asked this on our living room sports for people, less uh, you know, stressful topics, but still, pick a side, owners, players. Because to me, the owners are the ones who promised prorated. The owners are the ones back early on, said we're gonna have an 82 game season, we're gonna start on July the 4th, here we are, less than a month away, and there's nothing out there, and it's because they were unwilling to do what they said they would do. So I blame them. You? I blame the, I blame the owners because, number one, they won't open their books, right? So we're not dealing with, we don't, with a full deck of cards. We don't know what they have. We're not, there's no transparency, evidently. And also, these owners, they've got, you know, if they want it, decades to make the money back either to profit by owning the team or by flipping the team and selling it, the players only have a small window to play and make their money. And that's why ultimately, you know, both sides are going to lose money. We understand that. But if somebody can afford to do it over the long term, it's clearly the owners who are going to have an opportunity for years and years and years to come to make this money back. I've been saying players, players, players the last couple weeks. I'm starting to move over to your guys' side with the owners. But I'm going to still go with the players here. It's been bad look for them, uh, a bad PR for them throughout this whole process about not wanting to play, want more money. And, but the owners obviously yeah, but Richie, want to pay less money. Did you hear what the money. Cubs owner, the, did you hear the Cubs owner, biblical losses? What an embarrassment that guy is. What a, what, what a phony, fuddy-duddy that guy was when he said, I'm basically broke. Are you kidding me? Most of these guys oh. are billionaires. Look at Nutting. He's a billionaire, right? He's a billionaire. They can afford to take some losses. And I, I think they need to come to an agreement on both sides. I think both sides are being greedy right now. And I hate to, to be down the middle here, but I think both sides are at fault. I, I thought the players were until recently. Now I'm starting to think the owners are. They did agree to a prorated. What's wrong with prorated? Um, I, I just want to see they baseball. Said it. Yes, they were the ones you, who said you're it. Right. Here, now they're taking it back. All right. It's going to be interesting, and it may not get done, but I, got, I still believe at the 11th hour something will happen, whether or not it's Manfred doing it or the uh, sides coming together on a short term. Pop, will there be an 80-game season? Can you see an 80-game season? No. No, it'll be 60-50. I, I think it's going to be shorter. Yeah. 
Anyway, it's time to go round the horn for this week's Smooth Moves, brought to you by Pittsburgh's largest supplier of the smoothest granite, marble, and quartz countertops you will find anywhere. Armina Stone. Pony, start with you, your Smooth Move of the Week. Guys, I, I've always felt this way about him. He is the antithesis of the diva wide receiver. Larry Fitzgerald, total class. I say about Minneapolis, we all know that that's where he grew up. His dad was a sports writer there. He was at Vikings camp catching footballs there as a young kid and went on to have, of course, the great career at Pitt. What thoughtful comments from him. You know, a guy like Antonio Brown could learn a lot from the way Larry Fitzgerald handles himself. What an all-time pro. He is a pro's pro, that guy. My hat goes off to him. Yeah, no question about that, Pony. I'm going to go with Sergio from Sergio Styles in Dormont <laughs> because I was the first person to get my hair cut in Allegheny County when it turned green at 12.01 Friday morning. So thanks, Serge. And Serge uses, uh, you know, those hedge clippers that you find <laughs> out in your backyard that you normally use on really tough terrain to get through Rich's hair. <laughs> Armina Stone, Pittsburgh's largest supplier of the smoothest granite marble and quartz countertops you're going to find anywhere. Check them out at Armina Stone. When we come back, Penguins Phase 2 next.